So to continue with part two, I'm going to show you how to use the polygon map. And to do so, I'm going to go to the location where I have some data. And here I have a getting started.xls file. And this has my measures and my dimensions in it. And an important column here is the country ISO code. It has a three character value that represents a country. This value must match the data that is going to be pulled from a, another file to use the polygon map, which is called a KML file. And KML, or Keyhole Markup Language, is an XML type file used for formatting and modeling and storing geographic features such as points, lines, and polygons. And we use that uh, within ClickSense to represent the polygon map and the boundary type maps. So you'll see in this example here, I have world.kml. If I edit that with a uh, editor such as Notepad++, uh, you can see there is a particular tag here called name and in that tag we have a value. So that value USA basically is what matches the uh, country code value you can see here in the data. So that's what's needed to set up the polygon maps. So the way we do that is in ClickSense, let's create a new app, call that one polygon maps, click create, click open, and then we'll go into the quick data load and I'll go to the location of where I have my data and we'll select getting started.xls and you can see here in this location we have our country ISO code we're going to use that column name within the KML file that we're going to load so the two files can match on the same column name so we'll load that data close and what we're going to do is go back into the uh, quick data load interface and this time we're going to add more data and then again navigate to the location of where that data is and in this case we now have our world KML file and you can see that the viewer recognizes the format here and here we have our world.name column that we're going to call country ISO code and we don't need the world.point and we'll load that data I'm going to go into the data model viewer just to show you how the tables are linked together on the same country ISO code. Okay, we'll go back into the hub and we're going to go into our polygon maps and then into our sheet, go into edit mode and then grab our map component. And then by selecting add dimension, we want to choose the country ISO code. And there we have it. That is our KML based map. Now the boundaries are colored with a single color. We can change that under the appearance and under colors and legend. Turn off the auto colors and change it to by dimension. Um, if you want you can obviously to make a little bit more sense of this throw in a metric such as sales and we'll add some and you can change this to by measure. And then we have our particular heat-like gradient that shows the higher and the lowest values. And that's all that's needed for this type of map. Um, if you go into a view mode, you can select the particular country and confirm the selection if you wish. Uh, at the same time, you could also go into um, kind of like a lasso mode and you can lasso individual objects as well, such as you see here. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Uh, if you have any other questions, please put them in the comments section. Uh, other than that, I appreciate your time, and thank you, and I will see you at the next video. Take care.